Hello, Ashley J, Mr. John Blower. We're here at a West London recording studio with none other than the main man himself at the moment, Mr. McLean. How are we doing, sir? I'm good, thanks. Um, obviously, we come here today to interview you, ask a few questions and that for our forthcoming show that we've got West um, at the Beck Theatre. Yep. Um, so first off, what is new in the McLean camp? What's been going on recording-wise? Um, yeah, just been finishing off the album. That's what I'm doing now. And... Um, I mean, it's pretty date much wise, date wise for the album. Uh, um, no official date yet, but it will be early September. So it's definitely 2010. Definitely this year. Uh, so track wise, what are we looking? How many tracks? And um, about 13. 13 12, tracks. 13. Is this, it's nothing's been fully decided yet. No, it's yet. not yeah. set in stone yet. So and like so a track list. It could be like 30. Stuff. Yeah. And it could be as well, but it's not going to be. <laughs> what, have we, uh, what have we got? <laughs> track wise, 13, 13 odd tracks, yeah, like yeah. a standard sort of album track yeah. number. Digger. Uh, yeah. Known as Digger before. Yeah. That's the first time I'd heard you on the MJ Cole track. Uh huh. Um, so, what What was that? Obviously, was that your debut track? I mean, did that, you release or did you have Yeah, no, that, that was that? kind of. I mean, I did stuff before that, like underground stuff, mixtapes and what have you. Um, the MJ Cole track was like just a collab for his album that should be out soon as well oh that hasn't even been released yet because that was what no. that was last year was yeah it? that was last year the single he dropped the single um and i think he's dropping his album pretty soon as well oh, cool that i'll be looking for a big big mj big mj cole fan yeah, man, um like you say before I mean, genre-wise, was it when you say you've done a couple of mixtapes? I mean, what genre was it? A UK garage thing from? I mean, from I was in the UK garage scene, like, but back in the day. But the mixtapes was like hip hop, R and B yeah. kind of stuff. Yeah. Cool. And what did you just put them out independently, yeah. or was that under no, just, just put literally them down. yourself, or yeah. not under you no know, independent? Yeah. Uh, seen, seen. So how did that come about then with, with MJ Cole? I mean, what did he hear, their mixtape or...? Um, no, I was going to get him to do a remix of Broken originally when I first wanted to release it. And um, he was like, cool, come in, come down to the studio. So I went down there, uh, listened to a few of his tracks and he played me the beat for Gotta Have It. And I was like, oh, I need to write to this. Yep. And he was like, cool, so... Classic MJ it. Cole, pizza cat yeah. strings and that sort of flavour yeah. to it. First time I heard it. Um, yeah, so Digger, I mean, obviously you was called Digger at the time. Yeah. So what? where did the change, where you thought you right, you change and... and you know, um, I guess it was after I got signed and I started working on the album and I just thought, this is like, I need to start taking it seriously. seriously yeah. Was it more of a hobby kind of vibe or...? I mean, Did you always was, know you wanted to go into music I've as always, a career? Or? I've always wanted to do music, but you know, like, when it's it's hard mm -hmm. and it's, it Definitely. takes a long time, so you you do other things Still and... Still work, earn yeah, money and other ways stuff. stuff. So, after I got signed, I just decided, look, it's, it's time to evolve, I guess. And so you was actually signed under, from being called Digger, yeah, you signed yeah. as Digger. Cool. Yeah, and then... I just decided it was time to change it if I was gonna, which I would have to at some point. Yep. So, as under the name Digger, I mean, where did that name come? Obviously, McLean is your real yeah, born name. Right. So, uh, you know, where, where did that come from? Did that come, was you an MC or anything back in the day? Yeah, before I mean, singing or? that was um, back in the day. I used to MC under Digger. It was just like a nickname that I got from my friends for some stupid reason or other. I can't really remember. <laughs> and. Um, yeah, so then I used to MC under that name and like I say, I did my first like music under that name, the mixtapes and stuff. So then, cool, cool. Well, I'd like to have a listen to uh, some of the mixtapes, if you can dig us out a copy yeah, maybe. Yeah, sure I can. Um, right, moving on, like I say, we spoke about the album. You know, like I've, I've heard a couple of the remixes, you've done the Boy Better Know uh, remixes yeah. to um, My Name. Yeah. Which uh, I love the lyric, uh, I think was it Skepta, is it the JME lyric about give me your dad's number I want to bell him I've got yeah, saying I really want to tell him Skepta that was awesome I mean how, how did that come about was that come, was that from the broken record of the date would you like did you know yeah, them before I mean before I've that? met them and obviously I've listened to them for time yeah. so I'm a fan of theirs so when it was time to do the remixes we just reached out to them and like yeah. what, what if you, you want to jump up give them the acapella and they done their yeah, work or would just you give them the 
the um, the beat and the acapella and they went to town. I think JME made the beat yeah. and then the boys just jumped on yeah, it. It was big. crazy. Yeah, I played that a few times on the show. Um, I mean, with the album collaborations, I know obviously you know we want to keep a few things under yeah, cover, yeah. but is there any collaborations keep we can a few look forward to? Wraps, but definitely, my boy Devlin is on Devlin, the album. Yeah, he's on yeah, the album. It's definitely on the album. Cool, cool. Anyone else for uh, female collaborations or anything? I'm I'm working on the female one right now. I've got the song. It's there. So I'm just, just waiting to hear. Getting her, getting her yeah, in the studio, getting is it? Her in. All right, we're going to yeah. keep that one under wraps. I'm going to have to keep that one all under right, wraps. All right, all right, that's all good. Um, another question I was going to ask is your footballing brother. Yeah. Yeah, Aaron McLean, is yes. this right? And he's yeah. suddenly, uh, he's at the moment, he's playing for... Um, Peterborough. Peterborough. Yeah. I mean, is that sort of a thing where, you know, it's like two celebrity kind of brothers up from London now doing his thing? I mean, do you still obviously have contact with your brother? Oh, I mean, yeah, yeah. Does he support what you're doing? And Definitely, yeah, he always has, and we've always supported each other. Yeah. We're really close, me and my brother, so um, obviously I'm really proud of what he's achieved. And, and, vi- same, and vice versa, yeah. I can imagine. Yeah. Um, also, a question I was going to ask was um, inspiration. I mean, obviously, you say you've come from um, you know, listening to Garage, Grime, growing up in London, I presume. Yeah. Yep. Uh, what part of London? Are we North East. Oh, East London, yeah. yeah. Uh, any. Area, certain area. Oh, I was born in Myland. Myland, yeah. yeah. So coming from East London, I mean, grime was a big element of the last sort of five, six years, and garage and stuff. I mean, any inspirations? Even going back to you know Michael Jackson, Bob Marley kind of thing. I mean, is there anyone really there who yeah, sort of inspires I mean, you to write or? I listen to a lot of different types of music. Um, back in the day, I grew up on reggae. My dad was a reggae singer. Oh, your dad was a singer as well. Yeah. So you've got music, music yeah. in your family music's then, in basically. in the family. And obviously Michael Jackson was yeah, a huge yeah. influence on me growing up. Of course. Um, Boys to Men, Joe to See, Hip Hop, all of, like, Hip Hop Tupac, Big E, yeah. and all of them Onto guys. The Dre days yeah, and like that. all that. Uh, UK? UK artist-wise? Artist. Anyone in the last sort of 10 years who's sort of... Uh, I mean... The whole UK scene in the last in the last say ten years, I'd say. Yeah. I've listened to it all. I love grime, love the UK hip hop stuff that's coming out. Yeah, I'm just. Is um really not that myself would compare you to anyone, but I mean, is there anyone who like other uh, you know interviews or critics have, have compared you to anyone? Have they have they comparing <laughs> you to people, anyone? People are comparing me to people all the time, but you know that. That's just what happens mm-hmm. when you're new. Like, you're always the new someone. Yep, yep. Do you know what I mean? So, 